Back in 2016, I was at the Sky Ball in Dallas helping to raise money for Fort Worth Air Power Foundation, and Admiral Bill Gortney was up on stage. And then all of a sudden, out of his mouth, he said, Gary Sinise, where are you? Come on up here. And he surprised me and shocked me by saying he wanted to arrange an F-18 Super Hornet flight to land on a carrier. I guess I'm part of the tail hook club now because tail hook has to grab that wire and you stop very quickly. It was just amazing. Had to train the day before for if the plane went down in the water or they had to eject from the plane. You gotta be prepared, you gotta know at least the basics. How's it feel out there? Learned how to float in the water. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> they call it ground proofing where you can take air into your lungs and just uh, kind of put your head down and float in the water. It helps you conserve energy, so you're not just kind of doing that all the time. It was very, very interesting, and the following day was the day for the flight. We got suited up, got in the plane, took off. Uh, I've got some video from that. Landed on the carrier, and they put the ladder up, I climbed out, the pilot stayed in there. Uh, there's a great photograph in here at the office. As I was coming around to go meet everybody inside, there was a, a whole bunch of guys standing there like this. Wonderful moment, I came inside. I don't know if you could hear it out on the flight deck, I told him to play a teenage wasteland with you guys. <laughs> I'm not sure if you quite heard that or not. It was just a very, very cool day, and all the while, you know, planes are taking off and landing on the carrier. They're doing a lot of training out there. We greatly appreciate what you personally uh, and I know where my freedom comes from. We got on the microphone, talked to the entire ship. Well, hello everybody. It's great to be out on the ship. Um, I landed uh, just now in the F-18, and uh, that was uh, the ride of a lifetime uh, to get to see what our military does. In many different aspects around the world, has been a real blessing to me. And, and to be able to uh, to do these types of things, it makes me a better advocate for for the military. What you all do in defense of freedom around the world can never be taken for granted or underestimated. You should all be very, very proud of the work that you do and know that you have a great advocate in me and I will continue to try to do what I can to, to serve you back for all you do to serve us. And then at one point, the... Uh, they pulled this out. Remember uh, Teddy Roosevelt, speak softly, but carry a big stick. And uh, this was the Theodore Roosevelt. And that's to Gary Sinise right there. And uh, they gave me the big stick. You're on Theodore Roosevelt, which of course is America's big stick. So uh, <laughs> since you're out here, we got to give you your own big stick. So we, this baseball bat, we got our command coin here uh, and the handle. Uh, we got a personalized for you. Oh my uh, gosh. And uh, so this is uh, your very own big stick to remember your trip out here. It's a beautiful bat. They've got their coin right here. Uh, it, it was just a magnificent day to be out there. You've got a big crowd over here. The crowd, the crowd is, you talk on the one and see and the crowd gets bigger faster. That's how it usually goes. Pitch ready, sir? Yes, absolutely. Very pleasure. Pitch ready. I got back in the plane about a half hour, 45 minutes later, and to see the, the crews on the decks of the carrier, that's a very dangerous job out there. But exceptional, exceptional people serving in our Navy on these carriers, and it was great to experience that firsthand. And that, that's one of the most exciting things, just the launch off the carrier. Pretty cool stuff.